This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung NP300 laptop computer with a cracked laptop screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen on a Samsung NP300. Okay, before we go any further, we want to remove the battery so that we can work on the laptop safely. We flip the laptop over, slide the two levers outward, and slide the battery out. Once we do that, we can work on the laptop safely. While we're still on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. It says model code NP300 E5A. Now the important part here is the NP300. These other numbers may change, but as long as it says NP300, this procedure will work. All right. Once we take the battery out, we can flip the laptop over and work on it safely. Just as with most laptops, in order to get to the screen, you need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame that surrounds the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove four screws that are securing it to the screen assembly. And these screws are hidden by some plastic covers. So before we go any further, we'll show you the tools that we're going to need to do the repair. The first tool is a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 head. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. Just in case, we also have a smaller PH0 head for smaller screws. We also have an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade. That's to remove the rubber covers on the screws. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the plastic covers from the screws to access the screws. And it looks like on top is just the cover, so there is no screws. So we're going to put this one back. And then we'll see if there's any screws on the bottom. So we remove the plastic covers from the bottom. And we do see some screws. Okay, what I have to do with the plastic covers is put them right next to the screw so that we don't lose them. And we're going to remove the second plastic cover. This is where the X-Acto knife comes in handy. A box opening knife probably won't work because it's too thick, so you need a thin blade to do this. Now, right away, I see that the pH 0 bit is going to work better for these screws because they have a, a smaller place where you insert the screwdriver. So we remove the screws one by one. One. And two. And the screw is a little bit stuck, so we're going to use the tweezers to remove this screw. Now that the screw is out, we can snap off the bezel. And the way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting the bezel up and listen for snapping sounds. And just work my way around the screen. So. If you get stuck at a place, go to a new place where it snaps off easier. You just basically go around. Sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's easy. In this case, it's not too bad so far. So we'll keep moving around. Okay, and go down and do the same thing down here.
and we're almost done and we're done okay once we do that we remove the bezel and we take a look at the screen okay this is a somewhat unusual screen in that most of the screens are mounted from the side with some metal mounting brackets but this screen has some tabs in the front so we take so and these tabs are secured by some screws so we use our screwdriver to remove the two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom so we go one by one okay and once we loosen the screw up it doesn't want to quite come out so we loosen it up some more and try to remove it with our tweezers one two three and All right, once the screws are out, we can tilt the screen forward and see if it comes out. And it looks like I removed the wrong screws. The tab is a bit to the right, so we need to remove the two screws on the corner too. These two screws right here. And we'll try again. So one and two and now we can tilt hopefully we can tilt the screen forward which we are to do and lay the screen down okay this is a very unusual screen one that i have never seen before it's a 15.6 inch LED screen, but it's not a standard 15.6 inch LED screen that you find in most laptops because it has some metal, metal mounting tabs on the top and bottom and the connectors in a different location. But let's go on with it and we'll show you how to remove the screen totally. Now the, this has a connector on the bottom and secured by some adhesive tape. So in order to remove the connector you need to remove this adhesive tape, which we do, like so. And once we remove the adhesive tape, we can pull the connector out. So let's get a close-up while we do this. We pull the connector out, and we look at the screen. So as I said, this is an unusual screen in that the connector is in a different location, and it has metal mounting tabs instead of screw holes on the sides like it usually does. And it's not quite a slim screen either, it's somewhere in between. So let's take a look at the part number for this screen. It says LTN156AT09. Now uh, you can look for this screen on eBay or uh, Google, or if you want, you can send an email to us and we'll see if we have the screen available by the time you send the email. So once again, LTN 156AT19. Okay, to ask to see if we have this screen available, you go to www.screensurgeons.com. On the bottom, you click on Buy a Screen. Then there will be a short form for you to fill out where you give us the model number and we'll send you email back on the availability of this screen. Okay, once you do get your new screen in, you reconnect the connector and one of the biggest sources of error I see is that the connector is not connected properly so I'll show you how to do it quickly so you when you connect it you should hear uh, you should feel it snap, snapping and you should feel two clicks and also to get a close-up the two sides the seam between the two sides of the connection there should be it should be flush there should be no gap in the seam so pause the video right there, and this is how a properly connected connector looks like. All right, once you do that, 
you put the screen back in like so put the screws in at the bottom and put the screws in at the top snap the bezel back on put the two screws in at the bottom and you're ready to go and that's it so the procedure itself for this laptop is not complicated but i'm guessing the screen is a little bit difficult to find since it's not a standard screen okay uh, that's it my name is eugene panritkovich i'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.